CataractCoach.com. You can move the cortical spokes. So before doing your capsular rexus, just move these opacities out of the way. Remember, these opacities here, these cortical spokes, are usually liquefied lens cortex. And those lens proteins, because they're liquefied, you can push them out of your way. But the best time to do it is prior to starting your capsular rexus. So we'll make our incision here using a diamond keratome. And then I'm just going to use a blunt cannula to just push that cortical opacity out of the path of the capsular rexus. So I'll push it centrally. So here, just using a 27-gauge blunt cannula, just using it to sweep and push that cortical liquefied material centrally and get it out of the way. So when I have a, a capsular rexus being done, the pathway in the red reflex is perfectly clear. So now look at the before and after. It really did work. So yes, you can actually move these cortical spokes out of the path of your rexus. So now we'll start the capsular rexus here. And a little bit of that lens milky stuff may ooze out, but again, it's not too much. It's very little. This is not a completely opacified or intumescent white cataract. But we'll poke here in the center, start our rexus. I'm just measuring out in my mind about what five millimeters is going to look like. So starting the rexus there, and we'll get it flipped over. And you'll see, we'll be able to create a really nice rexus. And there's the spot where we previously had a cortical spoke, but we have great visualization all the way through there. And now continuing this caps rexus all the way around. And so just like that, you're able to remove that opacity from the path of your intended caps rexus. And there we go. Let's speed up the phago part of the case. We'll kind of get through that quickly. Not a very dense cataract, moderate nuclear density, but certainly the patient had um, visually significant complaints be, uh, based on this lens opacity. So prolapse the lens partly out of the capsule bag, just a quick chop at the beginning to give two halves. Each sub uh, piece can then just be aspirated, really not much more chopping needed, more of a tilt and tumble here, and that nucleus comes out pretty easily. And so chop in that safe position just to make sure that posterior capsule doesn't come up, and the lens is removed just like that. Now we can see a little bit of the hint of the rexes at this point, but it'll be even more clear once we get that cortex out of the eye. So coaxial irrigation aspiration. In the U.S., the coaxial is a lot more common. In Europe and sometimes in Asia, you'll see uh, bimanual or biaxial approach, and that's perfectly fine too. There you go. There's that rex. Let's slow down the video now to normal speed. Filling the capsule bag looks pretty good. So yeah, we did ourselves a favor. Move that cortical opacity out of our path, and so now we can create a nice centered uh, capsule rexus just as desired. And once we get the lens in, we know this lens has an optic of 6 millimeters. So as the lens goes in, we'll be able to judge that rexus size. And as we measured during its creation using my forceps, it should be just about 5 millimeters. And so we'll get that lens delivered in the capsule bag. But this is a neat little pearl. Sometimes you're going to find this very useful. Now, if you have a tremendous amount of cortical spoking and the, and the red reflex is really that bad, of course, put in some tripan blue dye. It'll make life a lot easier. But if it's just like in this case, where there's just a couple areas where there are cortical spokes that are in the path of your intended 5 millimeter capsular axis, just go ahead and move that out of your way. So again, it's done before you start the capsular axis. So with an intact anterior capsule and the eye full of viscoelastic, just using a blunt instrument like the side of a 27 gauge blunt cannula and to milk or push that fluid out of your intended path. And there's that red reflex you can see and the, the outline of that rexus. That's just about a five millimeter rexus. Looks fantastic. And so we'll seal up this case and call it a day. So hope you like this little pearl. This is something that was taught to me actually. And um, I'm glad I can pass it on to our next generation of ophthalmic surgeons. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for watching these videos. Be sure to check out the website too, cataractcoach.com. You'll get the full text and the graphics and the photos plus the videos. And if you sign up for a free daily email, we'll send all of that to you in your inbox every day for free. Come on. cataractcoach.com. Check it out.